In the early 20th century, New Orleans was a city known for its lively culture and vibrant nightlife. But in the midst of this bustling atmosphere, a sinister presence lurked, casting a shadow of fear and uncertainty over the community. From 1918 to 1919, a series of brutal murders sent shockwaves throughout the city, as the infamous New Orleans Axeman struck terror into the hearts of its residents. The reign of terror began with the horrific murders of Joseph and Catherine Maggio on a seemingly ordinary evening in May 1918, the couple was attacked in their home. The savage blows of an axe left them brutally murdered, their lives extinguished in a senseless act of violence. The killer left behind a chilling message scrawled on the wall, a cryptic note that hinted at the darkness that had descended upon New Orleans. A month later, the axe man struck again in June this time targeting Louis Bessemer and his mistress, Harriet Lowe. Their lives were brutally cut short, their bodies found in a gruesome scene of violence. The randomness of the attacks and the brutality at which they were carried out left the city in a state of shock and disbelief. In August, with summer settling over the city, the Axeman's reign continued with the murder of Anna Schneider, a pregnant woman she became a tragic victim in the serial killer's brutality. The loss of a young life and the innocence of an unborn child struck a chord of horror and sadness within the community. In August, just two weeks later, the Axeman attempted to claim another victim, Joseph Romano. The elderly man suffered severe injuries in the attack, but managed to survive for a short time before succumbing to his wounds. The failed attempt to end Romano's life only fueled the panic that gripped New Orleans. After a period of apparent dormancy, the X-Men returned with renewed ferocity. On a single night, March 10, 1919, Charles and Rosie Cornermagilia became victims of this brutality. Charles perished in the attack, while Rosie miraculously survived, despite her injuries. Their ordeal cast a grim spotlight on the horrors that continued to plague the city. Just four days later, the city was struck with its final known victim of the X-Man's rampage, Mike Pettipone. The brutal murder of Pettipone marked the culmination of a reign of terror that left the community shattered and terrified. The elusive killer seemed to vanish as suddenly as he appeared, leaving behind the city who was grappling with grief, fear, and unanswered questions. The New Orleans Axeman spree of violence left behind a mark on the city's history and collective memory. The chilling details of the murders and randomness of the victims and the sinister symbolism left behind at the crime scenes etched the name of the Axeman into the annals of true crime lore. Despite extensive investigations and countless theories, the identity and motives of the killer remain shrouded in mystery, leaving the dark legacy of the Axeman to haunt New Orleans to this day.